In this example, I'm going to use a ridge beam so that you don't need any ceiling joists or rafter ties. This would be like a vaulted ceiling, same kind of construction. And uh, again, this would just, just throwing out some ideas for you. If you need some type of an open garage, you can't have any rafter ties in the way for some reason, then this might be a method you could use. And you can see here where the post goes all the way down. It's supporting um, the ridge at both ends. And take another look at it here. It's post, post underneath, and the ridge beam and a block. Um, sometimes this is going to work out just fine depending upon the strength of the roof, what you're putting, how far the overhang is going to be. A 12-inch overhang, a block like this. If you have outlookers within two foot, um, that'd be fine. If not, you can always put another outlooker at the top. Or you can have the ridge, you can notch the ridge beam like we have here. And uh, this could support the fascia board also and the overhang. Notch it, just notch it and you're good. Whether you want to notch it and make it smaller, that will be up to you. But again, these are just ideas. Now, if you have a post like this supporting a ridge, then you're going to need a bigger header. So I think in the previous examples, I'm using a 4 by 12. In this one, I put a 4 by 14 in it, but you might actually need like a 6 by 14, depending upon the ridge and uh, the ridge beam from the engineer or whatever you are going to be, whatever load it's going to be supporting. Now, if you use a 4x14 to get the ceiling, I mean, to get the garage door opening to work, you might need to raise it a little higher. And um, that might require notching the plate like we're looking at here. And then, of course, this right here, the top plate is going to be able to nail into the garage door header and nail into the wall here. And, of course, tie to this wall here. So this plate right here will provide you with a nice tie for that. Nice structural connection. Another view of it there. And that is one way to build this particular garage. In this video, I rotated the roof 90 degrees. And uh, the garage door header might actually need to be a little larger on this because you're going to have all of the weight of the roof on it sitting on top of it. So this might actually need to be a larger garage header also, 6x12, something like that. See here where we have the fascia board. Same kind of building. We got the posts on each side. Instead of a post sitting on top of the garage door header, we have a continuous post or a post broke all the way down. And again, this could always be a rake wall. You can always use these. These uh, studs could go all the way up to the top. Also, it doesn't need to have a plate like this in it. And some engineers might not want to see that also. Remember, this design does not have any ceiling joists or rafter ties because it's using the garage beam or the uh, ridge beam to support everything. So it doesn't need the rafter ties. And here is a concrete footing, and that might be necessary for, or I should say, a pad. We've got the footings, then an additional support at the bottom here. And uh, you can see right here where the, the load would transfer from the ridge beam down the post all the way to the concrete foundation. And this is, this is a common method of building something like this. You know, you might, uh, if you're gonna build something like this, you take it down, the engineer, you can almost count on having some type of a additional support, um, some type of a concrete pad and something like this. Anyway, that's it for this video and hope it helps. If it does, let me know by hitting the old thumbs up button.